Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 119, when not to use Power Apps Portals. While it's no secret that I'm a fan of Power Apps Portals, I often find myself in situations where I'm approached about using them on a project where it just isn't a fit. In this tip, I'll talk about some of the red flags that you can look for that might mean Power Apps Portals may not be the right fit for your projects. First, obviously there are some technical limitations to the platform that you need to consider. If your project involves Dynamics 365 on-premise, Power Apps Portals isn't really an option. Beyond those, you might run into situations where Power Apps Portals could be used, but you always have to ask yourself, should it be used? None of what I'm about to mention means that you definitely shouldn't use Power Apps Portals, but you just may want to spend a bit more time determining if it's the right platform. One requirement that often comes up is e-commerce. There's nothing built into Power Apps Portals to handle e-commerce functionality like a shopping cart, checkout process, or payment. Building out this functionality involves writing a significant amount of custom code. If your portal is almost completely built using custom code, you have to wonder why you're paying for a low-code platform if you're not actually using it. Another thing I see as a red flag is when user experience designers without portals experience are involved in the project and are taking a lead in designing the portal without understanding its capabilities. More often than not, this leads to needing to do custom code to meet the designs. Again, in that case, are you really getting value out of the platform? Finally, I always consider the source of the data when deciding if Power Apps Portals is a fit. Power Apps Portals are built on top of Dataverse. If your data isn't normally going to reside in Dataverse, you might spend a lot of time working around that. Because of the connector frameworks that exist for other parts of the Power Platform, like Canvas Apps and Power Automate, I often see assumptions made that portals can also connect to all these different data sources. But Portals is built on top of Dataverse, and if you weren't planning on having your data there in the first place, you might want to reconsider your choice of Power Apps Portals. Often when I see any of these flags, the question I ask is, are there any other aspects of the product that are being used that still make the value proposition of Power Apps Portals strong? If so, Power Apps Portals may still be the right choice. In our next tip, I'll cover the situations that I think are a great fit for using Power Apps Portals. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 119 on when not to use Power Apps Portals useful.